You've stopped eating again. You're disintegrating into nothing. <coughs> Brother, I refuse to become the man you want me to be. You know what? There's something so perfect about this in the context of My Hero Academia that someone who's physically weaker and has fewer powers is the one who makes the heroic stance. That's very on brand and on theme. You can connect that idea from here to All Might vowing to be a hero after he lost his powers to Deku being heroic even before he had All for One. Or one for all. It's so frustrating that they're two reverse things of the same words. I always have to stop and think about which one's which. And this sort of growing theme I feel of, it's not your quirk that makes you a hero. A fitting origin in some ways, I guess, for this seemingly not very physically capable, apparently quirkless younger brother. Be careful. We're long past the singularity point. I've been wondering about this. Is this the same singularity point that they were referencing? Don't be afraid. Where quirks sort of not alone. amalgamate into like one giant quirk thing, threatening to wipe out all of society and causing the apocalypse. Is that the point we're long past? <laughs> Mira's such a good guy, I feel like if his, his entire role in life was just to make Eri happy, he would do it gladly. After that dream, I couldn't go back to sleep. Hard to blame you. Midoriya, what was that sound? Are you okay? I brought cheese. Perhaps you haven't had enough cheese. That's yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sorry for waking you up. <laughs> I mean, the man is who he is. Respect. I saw the predecessors reaching out to me. This guy has similar clothes to Best Genist. No. I think I just miss Best Genist, is the bottom line. You witnessed the memories of the original? Yeah, well, that's the right person to ask, right? Then he spoke to me about how I'm only using 20% and something he called the singularity. Let's get more info on this singularity. You said they were like ghosts that didn't have intentions, but I think they this is wanted different. something from me. Yeah, this was not a dream. Based on what I know, this phenomenon has only happened to you. But why now? And why Deku? They each had their own goals in life. Heroes that they wanted to become. Feelings are what fuel power, Toshinori. I don't know why it took me so long to realize the connections to Avatar here. Did the author watch Avatar before this this arc in the manga? We can guide you, Deku, but ultimately you have to make your own decision. Does that make All Might Roku and Herkyoshi? But there's a Kurok in there somewhere too. It's gotta be. The emotions of those who cultivated one for all are woven into the ability itself. At least that's what I think. Sounds like something out of the occult. Cool metaphors there. Not at all. Maybe we'll meet each other again inside of one for all. Like I, I said, live on in you. Hopeful. We still haven't really gotten the full story, or like full flashbacks on this. I mean, we know the broad strokes of what happened. What about the singularity? There's a rumor about something like that. The quirk singularity doomsday theory or whatever. It is the same thing. He said it was too late though. There were two figures I couldn't make out. Oh, and you were kind of a glowy blur. Maybe it's because you're still relatively new and alive? Alive, yeah, would be my guess. Of course, you mm -hmm. two. You look like you're thick as thieves, per usual. Oh, <gasps> Aizawa! It's nothing! Uh, no even all nights afraid of Aizawa. <laughs> it's not like I caught you doing something inappropriate. You didn't have to put it that way. We crossed that line a long time ago when All Might Force fed Deku his DNA on the beach. Hey, Shinso! Were you hanging there out with Mr. Aizawa? I hope you're learning a lot from him. Oh, I am. That also sounded inappropriate. <laughs> what was the subtext there? Oh, I am. Class A versus Class B. Prepare. Are you excited? Don't you get cold like that? I'm Gagarin? rooting for Invisible Girl. <laughs> yeah. She had a great episode last time, or two episodes ago. Kachans is different too, huh? It's a lot more something. It's got a certain something in it. How much new stuff do you have on? I had to upgrade I mean, because I learned something. I had the farthest moves. to climb. Be sort of with like mommy's pajamas. There's no way you stand a chance against us in this exercise. Come on, Class A! He better deliver after all this talk. This is like his life's entire motivation. Even some of his classmates are done with him. Sen Kaibara! Togaru Kamakiri! Shihai Kuoiro! This is a lot. It's got Kendo! For me. I know Kendo. Kendo. And I know Grass Type Girl. Jirota Shishida! AKA Chewbacca. Tetsu 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 Tetsu. Some important names here. Kojiro Bondo! Calendar Man. That was a lot of people. What was better, Class A's <laughs> pathetic attempt at being rock stars, or Class B's obviously superior play? I really did want to watch the play. It did seem awesome. Did we somehow blow it at the festival, you think? No, yeah, it was amazing. Finally! Did you not see Aerie smiling? It was so, so spectacular. I'm still feeling it. Today, there will be a special participant. Please try not to embarrass yourselves if at all possible. Too late for some of us. Interested in switching to the hero track. Oh. <gasps> oh? <laughs> 
Hey. Good for him. Respect. He's got a like legit crazy power. He's speaking of meta powers. I don't actually know what meta powers means. I'm just throwing that out that works. It sounds cool. But his quirk got some real lethal potential and also a glaring weakness that if you know what it is, it's sort of nullified. But even so, you know, you guys ever play Kings, the drinking game? There's a version of it that requires asking questions rapid fire. And if you answer the question, you lose and have to drink. Like you're asked a question. You have to ask someone else a question. You can't answer. It's harder than you think. The instinct is to answer, even if it's just a yes or no. That kind of communication runs deep. But yeah, he, he can beat anyone right? In a way that doesn't require a head-to-head -head challenge. There's a nice poetic element to it as well because he's aware of the way people will read villainous things into his quirk when it doesn't necessarily have to be the case, right? It's about the individual and what you do with it. So way to push back against the walls of the box that people made for him. Uh, is that one of Mr. Aizawa's capture scarves? The mask looks special too! Welcome to the fight! Seems like he's sort of Aizawa's protege in a way. I don't know why that is, but I do feel like there's some similarity there in the type of quirk. They're both control quirks in a way. Wait one sec. Midoriya got brainwashed once, right, but he snapped recap, out of it. Yeah. Yeah, that was honestly kind of an accident. Little though. convenient. Come to think of it. Oh, but oh, oh, right, that brings it full circle. Correct. That's when we saw the ghosts, as they called them. Okay. What's We're the like really taking it back here. A long time coming. Imagine all the cool stuff you could do controlling people. Yeah, you could do any bad thing you want. You really took it there. Really took it to places, didn't you? See, sometimes the evil you see in other people is really the evil you see in yourselves. It's just in these people. It's in their hearts. That's who they are, not who you are, Shinzo. We're still competing to be the best. And I'm already countless steps behind. They speak in their language, for sure. One day I will become a proper hero. Then I can use my powers to help citizens Sounds in more, need. More confident, less excuses. All of you are hurdles I must overcome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is the perfect audience for this. If anyone would understand this speech, it's this class. You're all hero agencies trying to capture a villainous organization. You should consider your opponents to be evil criminals. You'll win if you capture four competitors. I can't help but wonder if this is also foreshadowing in a way. Just because Deku's trajectory is like not seeing villains in this sort of like categorical light. The evil thing was the key word there. Criminals is fine. Villains is even fine because in this in this world, it's sort of a legal definition. Evil is a little bit harder to swallow and I can't help but wonder if that's part of Deku's coming arc. At some point at least. That's an interesting combination. Another interesting combination. Wait, is Dark Shadow a person? Or did I just not see that right? Oh, it's Invisible Girl. <laughs> it wasn't shade this time, I promise. I just didn't see her. I would like to put the Invisible Girl shade behind me. But she makes it so difficult. <laughs> Solid. Solid, I see some potential danger there. I like the team unity in the picture. I bet girls kind of dig that smirk. You rake them in, huh? Why do people just read so much into Shinzo's life just by looking at him? So many assumptions. I wonder what new abilities he learned. Where were you keeping that? I did not want to know. I finally reached it. My starting line. I don't know, Shinzo's sort of easy to root for here. He's got a long upward hill to climb, and it's just cool to see him facing that without excuses and being pumped and grateful for the opportunity. That's an underrated or perhaps overlooked element of these shows. Like, it just seems sort of obvious when you watch them do their best. It's sort of like, all right, I get it. They're rising to the challenge, right? But no, it's amazing. It's easy to sort of overlook the significance of looking a challenge dead in the face and seeing that as a good thing. I get the opportunity to face this challenge and not give up on myself and do my best at it without excuses and with full responsibility. I don't know. It's just a beautiful thing. Which class would you put the odds on? I couldn't really say. A. Class A has definitely gotten stronger after overcoming so many different crises. A. It's probably because they were able to cover the curriculum since they didn't run into outside trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, they actually got to go to school. <laughs> they actually got to attend class as normal students. Class B is taking a more traditional approach to their studies. Yeah, but it's class A though. Class A. It will be good though. They're all talented. It's nice of All Might to be charitable, but it's class A. And Shiozaki will be tough to nab. He's still reeling from his Her quirk's amazing. Pokemon type disadvantage. Also, even though he has less experience, they'll want to avoid Shinso's quirk. Yeah, his is sort of this I'm crazy wild card. Keep me safe. Maybe we can set things up so Kaminari and Shinso get to do Let's their also things. also not sleep on Kirishima, ultimate hero. Both of them? That's not good. That's not good. We knew you guys would send Coda to search for us, and we planned accordingly. I really, really saw right through that very quickly and efficiently. I sniffed you out with my acute sense of smell. I mean, he's making a good villain with all, all this explaining. Jirota <laughs> Shishida. Quirk? Chewbacca. 
You don't want to shock him. I've trained my Ask core. him a you question. <laughs> Take him down, Shishida. Consider this our win already. It sounded like Shinzo somehow talked with my voice. What? That is vocal modulator. Whoa, that's such a great support item. That is the best support item I've ever seen. That is a total game changer. I was just talking about how like he's sort of a one one use thing. And by that I mean if you know his quirk, you don't fall for it. That makes it a hell of a lot harder. It's still avoidable, but awesome. I guess if he's there, you just can't answer any questions, or if you want to play it really safe, you just don't talk. But why is Oh, it's comic in the bushes. The beginning of this arc is sort of old school in a, in a nice way where we're actually getting school training exercises. Feels like that's been a while. So let's do it. Let's battle it out. And then let's have this lead to the the actual villain plot. There's a lot you can do with this in these matchups. It's nice to see Class B get some spotlight, although there are just far too many people. There are just way too many people. I'm not going to ever learn all of them.